In previous mini lessons, we have discussed the definition of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. In this mini lesson, we're going to talk about the relationship among those three quantities. There's a set of equations called the kinematic equations, which give us the relationships between those quantities. And first, I'll write them down. Uh, these equations are known as the kinematic equations, and they apply any time the acceleration is constant. Uh, the acceleration is almost always going to be constant in our class, so you can almost always use these. Okay, just pay attention if there does happen to be a case where the acceleration is not constant, then you'll have to find another way to do it. Uh, these equations will be provided for you on the front page of your exam, on the exam, so you do not need to memorize them. You do need to know what they mean. And if you're preparing for some kind of uh, professional exam like the MCAT where you do need to memorize equations, then these three equations are definitely ones that you want uh, to commit to memory. Uh, these equations relate displacement, velocity, and time uh, and to acceleration. Notice that there are two different Vs. Uh, we have uh, a V0 term, which means the initial velocity, or the velocity at the beginning of the motion that you're considering. The V here without the zero subscript is the velocity at the end of the motion that you're considering. Delta x is the displacement, t is the time, and a is the acceleration. <coughs> now, using these equations, we can solve problems that uh, otherwise you might not know how to solve. Uh, for example, let's say that we have uh, a car. that uh, is traveling uh, at 20 meters per second. That's a moderate highway speed. Uh, and stops over a distance of, uh, let's say, 30 meters. Okay, so let's find, uh, let's find the acceleration of the car. Uh, and also let's find how long it takes that car to stop. How much time does it take that car to stop? So uh, whenever you have a, a motion problem like this involving velocity, acceleration, time, and displacement, then have your kinematic equations there in front of you. The first thing you should do is write down uh, what kind of things do you know. Well, in this case, we know that initially the car is traveling at 20 meters per second. So that's V0 the initial velocity. Uh, we know that at the end of the problem, the car is stopped, so its speed is equal to zero. Finally, we're told that the displacement of the car during the time that we're considering is 30 meters. 
we're looking for the acceleration and the time. So now, uh, have a look at your kinematic equations and see which equation gives us what we want to know in terms of what we already know. It appears that uh, the easiest one to use to find the acceleration is probably the third one, this one. Let's use it. We could use the first one, but then we'd have to solve a quadratic equation. So I think the algebra is going to be easier if we uh, use the third one. Okay, so v squared, v is 0 equals v0 squared. v0 is 20 meters per second. Okay. Plus 2a. a is what we're looking for. Times delta x. Delta x is 30 meters. <coughs> So we have 0 equals 400 meters squared over seconds squared plus 2 times 30 is 60. 60 meters times A. We need to subtract 400 from both sides and divide by 60 to get A. So A is minus 400 meters squared over seconds squared divided by 60. That's the same thing as 40 divided by 6. Uh, 6 goes into 46 times with 4 left over, so that's 6.6 uh, .6 repeating. So the acceleration is equal to 6.7 meters per second squared because the meters cancel one of those meters and we're left with meters per second squared. Okay, uh, now uh, to find the time, we can use any of those equations. Uh, Again, it looks like probably the second one is going to be the easiest one. So uh, we'll use this equation this time. And I'm going to have to erase part of the board because we're running out of room. So let's just go ahead and erase that part of the board. Okay, and let's write down the second equation. C equals V0 plus AT. V, the final velocity, is 0. V0, the initial velocity, is 20 meters per second. The acceleration is negative 6.7 meters per second squared, and t is the time. So let's add 6.7 meters per second squared t to both sides, divide by 6.7. So that gives us t equals 20 meters per second over 6.7 meters per second squared. So the time that it takes to stop is slightly over, uh, well, let's see, it's just about three seconds. We'll have to use a calculator if I want to get it right to 
three significant figures, so I'll take 20, divide by 6.7, and you get 2.99 seconds, so right at three seconds, 2.99 seconds is the amount of time that it takes that car to slow down from 20 meters per second to zero. So that's an example of how you use the kinematic equations.